Hey, this is the Shadow Mantis, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid 2, The Return of Samus. And in the last episode, we beat Area 5 and 6, which were not very long areas, but in this episode, we will be beating Area 7. Oh, I know, that's incredible. So let's go over here, get a missile expansion. There's a total of four missile expansions in this area. I will be collecting them all, as usual. I don't even know why I said that. Why would I even say that? There's two uh, health expansions, energy tanks, actually, in this area as well. I'm only going to be collecting one of them, the first one that I see, because I only have a, a spot for one left. Right now I'm just going up, because I need health. And this is the closest place that I can get health right here. Right by this Gamma Metroid. So let's just... Let's kill this Metroid and then we'll get the health tank. No, not it's not even a tank. It's actually uh, just a, an, an energy station. So... We'll get that and then I actually think I'm gonna go for the... For the screw attack, because you can get that as soon as you get here as well. You don't really have, like, have to go for anything in this game. Like, it's kind of already open to you at the when you get there. Like, when you get to an area, most things are already open to you, like, in, in the later areas of the game. And it's really just all about uh, choosing where you want to go first. Alright, so, there's actually a where is it there is a there's a missile expansion around here somewhere I don't I don't know where it is though oh there it is all right there we go there's another missile now I'm I think I'm actually going to introduce you guys to the to the Zeta Metroid now which is down here. The entrances to the Zeta Metroid arenas are kind of weird. You got to be really good at the space jump to get in there. And after I defeat this Zeta Metroid then I'm going to go get the space jump. No, the screw attack. What am I talking about? Oh god. Alright, there we go. See, the Zeta Metroids are really weird. They got like, you have to hit them in the face and stuff, you can't hit them from below. Like, they're really weird. See, I, I, I said earlier that they're like dinosaurs, and they really are. They're just like, I guess that's kind of another reason I like this game, I like to see like how the Metroids evolve because it's like such a weird thing to see it's like you think of them as like brain brain things but they're these weird like dinosaur creatures when they when they live in their home planet it's weird it really is so that was a Zeta Metroid they are pretty difficult to kill not as difficult as uh it's an Omega Metroid, but we'll get into that later. Probably in the next episode. But until then, we are still virgins to the Omega Metroid. Luckily. Because that thing can pack a punch. It really can. There we go, we have 230 missiles now. And you know what? No, stop that! God damn it. Now let's go get the screw attack. Are you kidding me? Fine, we'll go up this way. This is... Oh, I think this is the way they intended us to do it. But fine, we'll go your way, game. If that is your real name. Yeah, I don't... Uh, no, it's, its name is Metroid 2, Ryan. God damn it. Let's get our missiles ready and can you hit it from the bottom no you cannot it 
it's I really like I don't like fighting the upper leveled Metroids because they there's just so many of them and at this point it becomes like a boss rush really and you have to like dodge them and stuff and then it just becomes a pain like this guy he's like bothering me right now I just don't like fighting him the final boss of this game is actually really cool you have to like go inside of her and stuff it's weird but why am I even talking about that right now I guess I'm I'm on the theme of bosses at the moment so I guess that's probably why all right that was sick all right there we go I didn't expect to get in there all right and now we can finally get it the the screw attack it's over there that's not even the right block right there now let's get the screw attack and now we can jump and kill almost anything there's there's the sound effect there it is let's listen to it again I like that sound effect I really like that sound effect I think it's funny I think it's really funny and I know you all underappreciate it and I'm very angry at all of you because I think it is a funny sound effect so I don't care what you say I love the sound effect haha <laughs> I'm having fun this is this is how I have fun with the sound effect now I need to I need to get some some health upgrade somewhere oh I know where I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get no I'm gonna go for the easy one I don't want to go for the hard upgrade cuz there's like a little maze thing that you can, can go through you know what I'll just show both of the upgrades cuz they're both in my way so here's one of the upgrades you can get it's right there you can't go down there though all right can you stop that thanks I said no I said stop and now we are in a completely dark room perfect my favorite and now we can go over here bomb that go over here and there's a missile expansion now go back over here and spider ball up the wall wait what come on jump around jump around now jump up jump Alright, apparently I can jump. I don't even know where I'm going right now. I really don't. Can I, like, go over here and, like, move over here? Alright, I think I'm... I think I got it. I think I did it. Yeah, I did it. Jesus Christ, that was not worth it at all. Because there's another another energy tank, like, right above us, too. But anyways, I got this one. And I can go out there. That's nice. I didn't even know you could do that. So up here is, like, the home of a Gamma Metroid. We'll get that soon. You know what? Actually, I'll do that right now, because I'll just re-heal when I get that energy tank. So let's go kill that Gamma Metroid. And then we're only going to have two more Metroids to fight. So, we're coming to the end of this game. Like, I know it's a little soon to be talking about it, because it's only like episode four. But this game is not very long. It's shorter than the first game, if you know what you're doing. Well, no, if you don't know what you're doing, you can't beat either games, because they're both like incredibly confusing. But if you know what you're doing in both of them, this is probably shorter. Maybe. I don't know. 
Uh, you should probably test that. What's the, like, uh, quickest 100% speedrun of Metroid and quickest 100% speedrun of, uh, of this game? I, I should check up on that. I really should. Because that seems like a cool topic. Alright, I should shut up now. Is that an entrance? Yes, it is. Now let's go back up again. Back up again. Back up again. Back up again. And here we are. Now we're going to get our final missile expansion and our final energy tank. So, there we go. There's all the energy tanks. And there are all the missile expansions. Now I'm just going to head down and face a Gamma Metroid and a Zeta Metroid, and then I'm going to end off this episode. Now, if you see any of the tunnels to the right, now, what those are, they are places where you can, like, change out your beam, because all four of the beams are right here. I personally like the plasma beam the best, so I'm going to keep that, but... If you're playing along, which I highly doubt because I don't have the biggest audience, uh, you can change out your beams right there for like something else like the wave beam or the ice beam. You're going to get the ice beam in the end of the game anyways, so it's... I would just stick with the beam anyways that you have. But that's just me. So let's kill this gamma. Alright. No. Hit. I'm gonna kill you. Alright, that should have hit you. Come on. There we go. Now we have one more left in this area. And then we're gonna be ending off the video. That's... This is really coming to a close, guys. Like, seven left. Alright, I need to stop hitting the spikes. Stop. Cr Christ. Alright, alright. There we go. Now, I said I was good at this space jump and the screw attack, but apparently I'm not. And here... is the Zeta Metroid. God... You are really frustrating, aren't you? Alright, I hit him a lot right there. I... <laughs> I'm tearing him up. I really am. There we go. We did it. Alright, that was... That was pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. Now I'm gonna save and uh, end off the episode after the earthquake f finishes. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.